it's always fun, you know, especially when you get two points for sure. So um, it was good to close that one out, especially the way we've uh, finished the last couple games. Do you remember your last career hat trick? I mean, obviously not in the NHL. Uh, yeah, I think I had one in the AHL um, in Charlotte. That was a few years ago now, maybe my, my second year in the AHL. Yeah, I don't know anything else other than that. How would you describe this game and then as soon as you got the start that you wanted and and then obviously not the best second period, third, you closed. What, what, how would you describe it? Um, I mean, you know, I feel like we've been starting well the last few games. Um, you know, we just got to learn to close things out. And, um, you know, you've seen a few games of ours slip away last couple. And, um, you know, I mean, we kind of let them back in it when we had our foot on the gas a little bit. And we let off, and they're a good team, so they're going to come back. But, um, you know, I think it just speaks speaks to our character as a team about, you know, trying to close in on those details and, and close games out. Those are important important points down the line, and when we can do it in, in regulation, it's always nice. Is it important just the way? You won, and just for the confidence level in the third period to execute some of those plays and to you know do the things you're going to have to do in crunch time to get the results. Yeah, I mean you're not going to win every t every game when you're going in overtime, so um, you know it's good to to get it done after 60 minutes and um, you know just try to uh, we'll, we'll build off tonight and, and you know take it onto the island. Morgan, yeah. there's no doubt on those first two goals. The third one, a lot of us thought Pasta had it initially. Did you, did you have any doubt? Did you feel it go off the stick? What, what yeah. Um, you know, he made a great shot. Um, I was trying to get to the back post for him and, you know, just kind of got in the way. And um, I knew I didn't get it right in front of the goalie, so I just tried to get a stick on it and, and was lucky enough to get it, get it through him. Selfish shot? Yeah. I know there's, there's a tendency to forget what happened in the last game, but in the last game you had one taken off the board. So did you, in some ways, was tonight good karma, you thought? Or do you not even think about it? I mean... I would have said it was more karma for the puck to my face, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess so, especially when you think of it like that. But you know, you just try to do the right things in both ends of the rink, and hopefully, good things happen. And um, you know, I think I've been building my game, you know, the last few, and and uh, you know, it's good to see a few go in tonight. Did you ever dream you'd have a hat trick in the NHL? Um, I said that earlier. I was like, I don't know if I ever like dreamed about it, but it's something I'll never forget for sure. Um, you know, it's one of those things that. Um, you always hope will happen and, and not something you ever put weight on. You know, a lot of good players um, in this league and, you know, it's not something that happens every day. So, um, you know, I'm definitely going to cherish it for sure. And, and um, you know, it already starts on, I don't know what day it is, whenever we play the Islanders. So, um, you know, we'll come back to work then. What's your pick for a lid? Uh, for a lid? Um, I actually didn't. I had like a toque and then um, Shetty gave me like a fedora. It was like a black and gold fedora, so it was cool. Mine, mine was a little more basic than that. Was there a chance you're going to have to wear the bubble? Uh, yeah. Um, so I wore it uh, the other practice because we thought it was going to be broken, just as a precaution. Um, and then I went and got a, I don't know what the scan, CT scan, and then um, they said it wasn't broke. So it's a lot harder. I said I haven't, I don't think I've wore a cage or a bubble since I was 15 or 16 years old. So it's a little, little different and a little bit of an adjustment, so it's nice not to. Is, is signing here and the way this has played out through 60 games has been everything you hoped? Has it been more in terms of what role you've played? You know, it's been great. Um, you know, signing here, obviously, it's a storied franchise, and um, you know what you're walking into with, you know, the people that have come before me. So I just try to take it in. The coaching staff's been great. The organization's great. Um, the guys have been awesome. You know, the old guys, the new guys, we're all one big group. We all kind of hang out together. So there's... It's just a camaraderie amongst everyone that, that you don't get everywhere else. So, yeah, it's definitely all I have all I could ask for and more. So, you know, we're just trying to build. And, and When you do sign, you never know about a place until you play there. But yeah. when you were going in, why here? What, what, was, the, what was the main motivation? Um, you know, I think for me, anytime you can join the, the President's Trophy winners from the year before and, um, you know, any kind of part of that would be great. And, you know, I wasn't coming here looking for it with any expectations, you know, to play more or play less. I just wanted to be a part of something that, you know, um, the, the culture they have and, and what they were building for the year later. So uh, 